What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another NYA show. I want to say I appreciate everybody for checking out the show every week. I got the first thing I got to do is give a shout out to Mr. Uh, Lando Tech because I was not doing the show this week, y'all. It wasn't until I looked at my phone and seen Lando say, yo, I'll be fucking with you. See what them Sunday drops, them, Friday, them Sunday night drops. So I said, let me get some topics together for y'all. It was a tough week, but here I am. I'm about to play this intro, get everything rolling. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to Lando Tech on YouTube right now. All your tech needs, go let you know everything new that's coming out, how to work it, if you want it for free, everything, how to get it for cheap, not for free. Shout out to Lando Tech. Now, let's start the show. First story of the night, I want to say that this show is dedicated to a longtime family friend of ours here, here at the NYA show, for Mr. Benjamin Johnson, better known as Kayani, who's a, the godfather of me and my girlfriend's children. And unfortunately, this weekend, this past week, he was gunned down leaving work on a run through this this article that was written on shout out the fox and just to fill y'all in on what happens late night shooting leaves an apartment security guard dead his now companies offering a reward for his capture the shots rang out around 11 p.m wednesday at a money place complex in the 1500 block of hardy street in atlanta's edgewood, edgewood neighborhood police arrived and found an adult male guard shot twice well, male guard who had been shot twice family and friends confirmed the victim was joseph benjamin joseph Benjamin. Benjamin died at the scene. Police said that the guard worked at the complex and was getting ready to leave, leave after finishing his shift when he was killed. Benjamin worked for the Georgia Security Officers, which is contracted to patrol the community and has been employed part-time with the company since 2016. Company owner said Benjamin had been, uh, been in the community for about a year. Those who knew him said he was a stunt double for several films. He was. He was the living, walking Spider-Man, Black Spider-Man out here on these streets. Family members described him as kind and gentle. He's been there for my girlfriend through many situations he's a, a box he was a boxer he'll put you on your ass obviously he was a guard he was nothing to play with uh big big spirit like to talk he came through in, in times that we needed him times of help he was there big big deal he was involved in our in our, in our family plays definitely will be missed and remembered. Um, those who um, sit in this area are saying that the, the, the shootings are normal. This is the same area where um, the young, the, the little girl was killed a couple of uh, months ago in that Edgewood area um, where we all partied at. It's been a big deal. Things have been happening. I want to sh show my respect. And if anybody sees it, I wish I had a better picture. The picture was turned the right way. But I'm going to leave it right here so anybody makes take my ass out the way. Uh, there is a reward for who is responsible for this killing. May his family rest in peace. And uh, it, it'll forever live with Mark uh, here. Once again, if you have any information, you look familiar, you hear anybody talking about anything that they did this past, I give all information, reach out. I'm going to have all the links down here in the description of the video. Of course, there is a reward, like I said, and there's footage. So we do definitely plan to see justice come from this situation. Um, staying in that vein, I don't, I, of course, it's never my, my, my ideal goal to speak on death and murder all the time. But these are things that always play because it's an everyday thing happens all the time. So I have to address it. Remember two shows ago, I talked about Mr. Michael, uh, Williams, who was found burning in Ohio, dead burning in a, in a, in a ditch for 
people were arrested currently in custody for what happened for these four people happened to be four white people just killed uh this black man here uh michael michael williams i wanted to to come back to this story and just look at some of the things that they said about michael williams to give more life to him you know say more life to humanize him all right determined to live on his own diagnosed with a learning disability as a child williams left syracuse determined to prove he um he could do it on his own said his aunt uh he worked at a few fast food restaurants, but was recently unemployed because of worsening diabetes. Although he visited family to move, he would check in with them on a daily basis. Williams' family hopes his body's return to them in uh, Syracuse soon. Um, all we wanted was for him to come home. Now we have to bring him home in the worst possible state, Terrell said. We will fight for justice. This is our family's mission. No matter what, we will fight for his legacy to be remembered and for those uh, he was a loving, kind, gentle giant who loved his family and who loved his children. He had a sense of humor. He, he was a character. If you needed someone to make you laugh, he would be the one to make you laugh. He dreamed of going back to school to get his GED and then starting a career as a nurse. So rest in peace once again to Michael Williams. We're hoping for developments in this case. Here we go. This week in music, 21 Savage dropped a long-awaited project that they signed a mother freaking petition to get it out. Sav that would be Savage Mode 2. My favorite songs so far have to be Running, uh, Glock in my lap, um, the rich N-word shit that came out, had Thugger Thugger on it, um, sliding with Drake on it. Through that line that says in, you got to unfollow Drake. Not a good move. So, um, and Snitches and Rats that was narrated by uh, uh, Mr. Morgan Freeman uh, narrated this entire project. So salute to 21 Savage for being able to get Morgan Freeman to come out of the house and say, hey, I'll do it for your brother. So great, great uh, project. I will say it's better to me than Savage Mode. The first one looks like it's slated to do 180 first week. So congrats to 21 and Metro Boomin. Great duo in hip hop. Uh, another album that came out this past weekend would be Mr. YG, My Life 400. Y'all may not know, I'm a big YG fan. I was a big fan of the opening song, uh, Je Jealous, uh, Blood Walk with Mr. Tunchi Lil Wayne himself. Out on Bell was a single, but I was free. I was rocking with it. It's basically kind of inspired by Tupac, who actually also had a song called Out on Bell, Soon as my dog hopped out. Uh, another song that I was really big on at first, I hated the cover art for that song, Capri. He was kneeling like Kaepernick or some something. It was weird. It was weird. But Swag, Swag was another great song off of that, off the project. Uh, War Scars and Thug Cry. I would definitely tell y'all to check out those songs. And if you're looking for some fuck Donald Trump type two kind of shit, if you're a big, if you're any fan of YG, then you need to go to Fuck the Police and listen to that song if that's what you're in the mood for. <laughs> Followed by that, Westside Gun dropped the project. Uh, who made the sunshine? Uh, what y'all called Westside Gun? Part of the big super group, Griselda, Shady Records. Shout out to Benny. Shout out to Conway. They they drop so often, man. Consistency. Stay on these dudes' neck. What Logic said that one time. Uh, uh, dropping heat back to back while y'all stalling. You feel me? So shout out to Westside Gun. Of course, some of my favorite songs from here had to be the. It's a little kind of hard to pronounce. I want to put my cursor over some of these these songs. I definitely like, I only heard it two times through. Uh, definitely like when uh, Benny, whenever Benny the Butcher pops up on something. <sighs> right here, all praises featuring Jada Kiss, Heat, Big Basha's. I hope it's not Big Beisha. That's like, shout out to Light Skin Keisha, but I think that's Big Basha. That song is hard. Liz loves Sugar. Don't play it around the kiddos. Um, and Frank Murphy, that's another big song of mine. And Ocean Prime, because it had Buster Rhymes came on there sounding like a freshman. Definitely expect the new music from Buster soon. Was a big fan of the new Meg single that dropped, uh, that Don't Stop featuring Young Thug. I know some people have been bashing it, but I definitely rock with this new single by Meg is not the one to lead the album with, if that's what she's planning to do, but it was definitely a good single featuring my boy, you know, young, young thugger, you know, saying young thugger, thugger, channeling his inner Edward Scissorhand, and I can't never be mad when people channel something unique and creative as Mr. Edward 
Scissorhands. So shout out to Young Thug, shout out to Meg Thee Stallion. I will say uh, I'm looking for more development in the artistry. I definitely know that Meg is trying to branch out by doing these things now, and I'm only looking forward to what more she's gonna put out and what the album's gonna hit on. So let's see about that. Um, last thing I wanted to speak on was Mr. Bryson Tiller. He dropped Long Awaited. Niggas bashed Bryson Tiller last album, but I didn't think it was bad. Y'all get down in the comments and tell me, was the Bryson Tiller last album trash? Was it trash? Because he took a long time to come back with this one. My boy was in love. I hate the cover, hate the cover. It looks too similar to your first album, dog. I didn't even know when the album, I didn't know the album dropped for sure. I thought it was like a, uh, uh, another deluxe because he just put out a deluxe of his album, his first album um, of Trap Soul. But the, the, the cover is too similar. Bad take on that. But the music, nonetheless, the music is what I care about. And the music was banging. Uh, I, I really like the, the uh, how did I start this? Uh, the Drake track. Got a little Drake track out of time. Next to You was great. Inhale wasn't good as a single, but I liked it inside of the whole album. Another big song was Things Change For Me and I'm Ready For You. So check out those songs. Y'all want to know the NYA picks off the album. Of course, Bryson Tiller, he did step up with this project. I didn't think his last second album was a step down at for you know for any case or whatever. But y'all listen to the album and y'all let me know what y'all even let me know what y'all think. But I honestly do think that Bryson Tiller put out a pretty a great project, you know. And I really I really can't give too much downers on it, other than I wish it was a little longer, it's like 11, 10 songs. You know, you gotta give us a little bit more from than that when you be gone over a year and a half. So, you know, and, and, but at the end of the day, great drop, great release. You dropped with a lot of people, so I hope those streams looking good. Let's, I think Savage Mode going number one. I hope you get the number two spot, Bryson. For everybody who's been tuning in, I love and appreciate y'all late on a, Friday, on a Sunday night, and that's the NYA show. That's all I got for y'all tonight, and I appreciate everybody tuning in and whatever you do stay safe and know that the world isn't so and why show i'm out